wanted to stay close. That was always a big factor in my college decision. Um, some of the other other schools were a little bit farther away. Um, I, I love our community. I, I've told dad and mom and dad over and over that I don't know, I'm good with staying in Dubois County and I like it here and i will probably spend the rest of my life here. It's uh, my speed and really enjoy it or enjoy the people around here. It doesn't get any better. What did Coach Carroll talk to you about when he was recruiting you about U of E? Uh, he knew that they had, I, there's some good classes ahead of me. Um, our class, the 2021s, are, there's, it's, it's a solid group. Um, he knows that we can do something big once we're all down there. Um, just winning, winning the conference and making a run every year is big and kind of moving on to that next, next level after college with draft and being ready to go into that. Um, I know that the coaches down there are great and they're going to prepare me for what I need to be prepared for, not only while I play in college, but for the next level um, and in life. I mean, they're, they're genuine coaches. Um, I talked to Coach Carroll on Sunday morning after our football game and he was just checking in, seeing how I was. Um, he's, he's really great about that. Um, he's, he's an all-around great guy. All the coaches down there are great. I, I'm really excited to get down there. How cool is it those other guys are there like Sherry, Drew Howard's going there, and of course Ethan. Yeah, uh, that's awesome. Uh, me and Simon are good buddies. Uh, obviously, Ethan, me and him have pitcher-catcher combo right there. Um, Drew, we're good friends over at Force Park. He's, he's a good one. Um, I'm excited to get down there and play with everybody. Um, it's, just, it's just really exciting to know you're going down there with a, a good group of guys. How cool is it they renovated that stadium too? Oh, that was awesome. Coach Carroll sent me the plans for that once they were doing that. Uh, about time I got my scholarship right up. Um, and that, that just makes the decision a lot easier. I mean, you have, a, you have a complex like that, and with all the people that care and put the money into it and the time into it, that, that just shows how much a community Evansville has too. And, I mean, around here you're, you're in the papers and everything, and people care about you, and it's obvious. Um, and Coach Carroll said, it's the exact same down there, and that's I really look forward to that. Did he tell you about what kind of role they have for you down there? Uh, yeah, um, obviously I'm going to be catching down there. Um, I'm excited for that. Uh, they, they think I can come in and play as a freshman. That, that's, that's been my goal. That was one of the things that we talked about while I was getting recruited. Um, I want to go play my four years of baseball, and if that, that's my time, then that's my time. I'm going to make the best of my four years. Um, I'm going to be down there getting a degree so I can move on in my life. Um, just going to make the best out of it. What are some of the things you're going to have to do to get better as you prepare to play in college? Uh, obviously, I'm going to I'm going to have to get faster and bigger, bigger and faster. That's always that's always something at the next level. Um, definitely improve my bat. There's you're going to see 90 plus arms and everything consistently and on on a daily basis. Um, competition's going to be fierce down there. I know there's a lot of good good athletes that are coming in and can be brought in at any time. It's college baseball. Your your spot's never safe. They may find a JUCO guy or a new recruit that's coming in, and you just got to keep working your tail off to keep your spot. Last uh, spring kind of sucked for the high school guys and you guys at Southridge. Uh, I'm sure you're looking forward to this season and have big uh, plans as you head forward here for your senior season at Southridge. Yeah, uh, after football season, obviously I was a little nervous to get back into the swing of things, uh, not only in football after breaking my collarbone, but just kind of getting back into the groove of baseball. Um, obviously it sucked that we missed our junior season of baseball. Um, we made up for it. We got we got to play a little bit in the summer um, with COVID and everything. that. It made it a little bit difficult. Um, played with a great group of guys over the summer, and I really enjoyed it and got better, I feel like. Played against some of the UE guys. Kenton Cruz uh, pitched against us for a couple games. Uh, that was really interesting. <laughs> I like playing against him. Um, got, got to play against some big-name D1 guys from IU. That was, that was awesome. Um, good competition over the summer. Definitely think we got better. You know, it's always special to play for your high school teams, whether it be, you know, football, you know, baseball, what you did. What what did it mean to play for Southridge in athletics? Uh, that That's easy. I couldn't even, I can't be prouder to play for Southridge. Uh, being here and playing for the community and playing for my family, it, it means the world to me. I, I wouldn't change it.